Welcome everyone. You have landed on the channel of The Ebb Fats. My name is Ebb and we are again going to be talking today about the great game that is Championship Manager Season 0102. Um, you come to us today, we'll be using the game on the starter kit for CM0102. It's a wonderful piece of kit created by a guy called John Betts. It's available from champman0102.net, which is a one-stop shop for everything that you would need for the game. The starter kit, the downloads, the tactics, the training routines, the challenges, everything you need will be there. Um, the kit is also available, obviously, direct from John on his GitHub page. So if you were to Google uh, John Betts starter kit, that would give you the options that you would need. Um, I am using version 1.2.2 of that starter kit um, and I am using it on Mac. It is available on Windows also. Um, through the use of this kit, um, we will, through a selection of miscellaneous patches, be able to view the starting training facilities and starting finances for any club that is manageable in the game. Um, today we're going to be looking at the finances and training facilities for clubs in the English First Division, obviously called the First Division back then, now known as the Championship, so the second tier of English football. Um, if you enjoy the content, please do like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment on the video. Um, stay tuned and we'll be getting more videos out for you. So we'll bang straight into it. English First Division. You will see we have 24 teams in there. You look at the table here and it looks very different to the way the table looks today in 2022. But we will run through the clubs in alphabetical order and the first of those will be Barnsley. So Barnsley play at Oakwell. The stadium facilities, you have a 23,000 all-seater stadium. And here, as you see, with those miscellaneous patches, you'll be able to see the training ground listed in a word form. So it's listed as good. But through that patch by John Betts, it will allow you to see that in a numerical figure. So Barnsley's training ground and youth facilities are listed as 14 out of 20. So a little bit of improvement, but certainly not as bad as potentially some may be in this division. Nigel Spackman is the man in charge and he will have a bank balance to start with of £4.68 million and transfer funds of £2.8 million. Would you be able to take on the challenge of Barnsley and see if you can get them into the top tier? Birmingham City and Axe, the second city. Uh, a club with immense history, a club with a great ground in St Andrews. 30,016 can fit inside. You'll see some familiar names there on the non-playing staff. David Gold has moved on to different clubs. Karen Brady, you will know if you watch The Apprentice UK on the BBC. And managing the club at the time is Trevor Francis, Britain's first million pound football player um, yeah adequate training ground 10 out of 20 so a little bit of work to do there uh, but a slightly higher budget than uh, Barnsley 5.92 million pounds in the bank five and three quarter million pounds as a transfer fund Bradford City um, has its fair share of uh, ups and downs in its time Obviously, no one can forget the the Bradford Fire, um, remembering all those years ago. At this stage, they've got a few big names on their books. Gunnar Hauer, Robert Molinar, Stuart McCall, uh, Benny Carbone, Lee Sharp. Some big names there. Uh, maybe getting on in years, maybe. So, if you were to take on this challenge, what would you do? With Bradford City, would you get rid of those big names? Maybe get their wages off, off the bank balance. Maybe you would you would keep them and surround them with young players. That would be up to you. Valley Parade 
is a 25,000 all-seater stadium. The training ground, however, needs investment. Um, listed as just seven out of 20. Will you be able to give them that investment though to the training ground? Potentially unlikely without selling off some big names. 5.2 million pounds in the bank. Transfer funds if you wanted to upgrade the squad at just 3.2 million pounds. Now Burnley. We know Burnley now as a team that is scrapping at the bottom half of the Premier Division. <coughs> trying their best to stay in that division where the big riches are. In this particular season they are scrapping to get into it. Um, they are of course at Turf Moor. Uh, 22,546 fit inside on any match day. The training ground listed as good and that uh, as a number is 13 out of 20. Now, you may be surprised not to see Sean Dyche's name <laughs> listed as manager. It did seem like he was there forever, but uh, it's uh, Stan Turnant at the time we, we start the game. £3.18 million pounds in the bank. £3.1 million available to spend. Coventry City, another big club going through hard times, continuing to go through hard times. Um, obviously 1987 FA Cup winners um, but some big names in there Hedman, Andy Gorham, Gary Breen yeah, Carlton Palmer's there oh, they're all out on loan that's not John Betts there that's an R Betts but that is Gunn Strachan Lee Hughes, Jay Bothroyd big names Highfield Road is still the stadium for commentary at this point. They have not moved on to the Rico um, and the troubles that came along with that. But Highfield Road holds 23,611. The training ground is listed as good. Uh, a 15 out of 20. So Roland Nielsen, the Swede, is player manager at this point. Um, and he has... 1.98 million in the bank just hundred and forty thousand pounds to spend on player acquisitions crew alexandra riding high at this point in the uh, first division they play at gresty road in crew uh, a small stadium, 10,118 can fit inside, and training ground youth facilities listed as good, 13 out of 20. So that tells you a lot about what the manager Dario Gradi is able to do. He was uh, uh, well known for his youth policy, well known for being able to bring up young players into the first team um, and uh, just feed them into the Crew Alexandra team. Um, it's had a few uh, other things going on in recent years, um, kind of uh, drawn into lots of other less scrupulous things around um, coaches and stuff like that, which we won't go into. Um, but yeah, crew have a interesting bank balance: three point two point three nine million, just under two point four transfer funds of 2.3 Crystal Palace now Crystal Palace are obviously a Premier League team in 2022 and have reaped the rewards of being in that division they have a lot more money coming into the club they are quite stable um, at this point though they're in the first division with Simon Jordan the outspoken uh, talk sport pundit in charge of the club and Steve Bruce in charge of the playing side. Selhurst Park holds 26,309. The training ground listed is just adequate. 11 out of 20. So that may be something you'll need to improve if you were to take on the challenge of Palace and replace Bruce. 4.5 million in the bank. 4.6 available to spend. Gillingham. 
Gillingham are an interesting club, the only league club in the county of Kent. And interestingly, in 1999, just a couple of minutes away from promotion in playoffs, you may know the game, Manchester City scored twice in added time um, before going on and winning that playoff final and being promoted. Gillingham stayed down. Um, for, team, for a team like Manchester City, the rest is history. Um, for Gillingham, they have continued in the lower reaches of the English football pyramid, league pyramid anyway. Um, they play their football at Priestfield Stadium in Gillingham, 11,500 with 8,500 seats. The training ground needs investment, um, listed as 7 out of 20. Paul Scally is chairman. He has been for some time and continues to be to this day. Andy Hassenthaler is player manager as we take over. Just over a million pounds in the bank and transfer funds of 1.4 million available. Grimsby. Grimsby town, the seaside town. Play their football at Blundell Park in Cleethorpes. With just over 10,000 can fit inside. But their training ground and facilities need a lot of work. Listed as just 6 out of 20 and need investment. Will Lenny Lawrence, the manager, be able to invest? Very unlikely. The bank balance shows at just £317,000. And transfer funds of £275,000. And here is the aforementioned Manchester City. So we all now know uh, what Manchester City have done. They've been taken over by very rich people. They have transformed themselves. They have won numerous Premier League titles. Um, this comes. This video comes just a couple of days after they have failed to reach the Champions League final by losing to Real Madrid. Um, mentioned earlier them uh, beating Gillingham in a playoff final with two very, very late goals to turn the tie. Um, you'll obviously know that that has come back on them. Karma has hit them again and uh, Real Madrid took their Champions League semi-final to extra time with two very, very late goals um, before winning an extra time and knocking Manchester City out. But... We are here 21 years prior in the first division. Kevin Keegan is in charge. Manchester City are still playing their football at Main Road uh, with four seats shy of 35,000 being able to fit inside. The training ground listed as 15 out of 20. Just under eight million pounds in the bank and seven and a quarter million pounds available to spend on players. We look now at Millwall. London club playing at the New Den in the southeast of London. 21,146 and a training ground listed as good, 15 out of 20. Theo Pafitis is in charge of the club. You will probably know him also from early series of Dragon's Den in the UK. Mark McGee is the manager. Steve Grit, um, very well known in South East London footballing world, is the assistant manager. 4.87 million pounds in the bank. The transfer funds of seven that seven sorry five million seven hundred and fifty thousand seven and three quarter million pounds Norwich City just recently relegated once again from the Premier League in 2022 they are trying to get back into the Premier League in 2001-2002 Carrow Road in Norwich holds 21,414 they have a training ground 
as listed as good 12 out of 20. Nigel Worthington is the manager you'll see A.D. Boothroyd who went on to be a manager in his own right on the coaching team there finances you'll see listed as secure insecure the reason for that is they are 5.3 million pounds essentially in the red so is this a challenge for you would you be the one to take on Norwich replace Nigel Worthington clear that debt turn them into a sustainable club Nottingham Forest a huge historical club obviously two-time European Cup winners but now down in the English second tier would of course we know get a little worse and they still have yet to return although they're getting closer by the season the city ground in Nottingham holds 30,602 the training ground listed as good 13 out of 20 again finance is insecure that is because they are 18 million pounds in debt at the start of your save so this is a, a favorite challenge of some returning nottingham forest to former glories as mentioned two time european cup winners under the tutelage of brian clough rest in peace and can you be the man to emulate maybe what clough did and bring the good times back to the tricky trees portsmouth 2008 fa cup winners if i've got my years right there and um, they are in the second tier as we start here playing at fratton park 19,400 all-seater stadium training ground listed as adequate 12 out of 20 milan mandaric in charge Harry Redknapp is director of football and uh, Graham Ricks still managing a football club before troubles caught up with him in later years. 4.36 million pounds in the bank, two and a half million pounds to spend. Preston North End, um, the first league winners the first double winners back in the late 1800s of course um, history um, goes with them so tom finney is a name you will know obviously and you look there at the manager name a young upstart named david moyes wonder what he's up to these days um, preston play at deepdale 21,412 is the capacity 16,412 are seated so there's 5,000 terraces in the stadium training ground not great adequate 8 out of 20 3 million pounds just over in the bank 2.1 million pounds is your transfer slush fund Rotherham United playing second tier football Playing at Millmore with a, a relatively small capacity there, 11,161, 8,000 of which is seated. Training ground listed as adequate, 12 out of 20. Uh, Ronnie Moore is the manager. And 2.5 million in the bank with 1.7 million available for player purchases. Now, the first team from the Steel City, this is Sheffield United, the Blades. A couple of names you'll recognise in there, Keith Curl, uh, Jaggy Alka, Michael Tong. Love Mr. Croissant here, Mr. Centre-back there. Peter and Love, of course. 
call Pesky Salido after mentioning uh, Karen Brady earlier. That's Birmingham. Mr. Karen Brady is uh, Paul Pesky Salido there, the Sheffield United centre forward. Their manager at the time is Mr. Neil Warnock, recently retired in real life. They play at Bramall Lane in front of a capacity of 30,376. They have an excellent rated training ground. That's 16 out of 20 on the numerical scale. Again, finances are listed as insecure, and that is because they find themselves £8.15 million in debt. But they can, if they wish, spend up to £70,000 on player purchases. We move to their city rivals, Sheffield Wednesday, um, a famous club, famous that obviously as we know in the past their ground was of a capacity where it was used for FA Cup semi-finals. Um, we know obviously what happened in the 1989 FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. Um, but a big club making cup finals recently in the early uh, early parts of this or well, sorry the late parts of the last century so yes hillsborough is the ground 39,859 can fit inside and is obviously now an all-seater after the disaster the training ground listed is good uh, 15 out of 20 Peter Shreves is the manager, Terry Yorath is the assistant. Together they will come together and try and work out a way of cutting down that £14 million debt. If they wish to, they do have £140,000 to spend today. Now, Stockport County. They have fallen and fallen and fallen in recent years. Um, so this is potentially a high point for Stockport. Um, we find them at Edgeley Park, 11,000 seater. Training ground listed as good, 12 out of 20. Andy Kilner is the manager as we start the game. And they have just under 2.1 available in the bank. And that same amount, 2.1 million, available as transfer funds. West Bromwich Albion, one of the bigger clubs in the division. Um, lots of history from the 1970s and 80s. Um, fallen a little bit on hard times recently. Um, kind of a bit of a yo-yo club in this century, up and down between the Premier League and the now Championship. They play at the Hawthorns. 25,296 can fit inside. The training ground, though, Needs investment, 8 out of 20. That's probably one of the lowest in the division so far. Kerry Mexon is in charge. And has a bit of a budget behind him. 7.26 in the bank. 7.75 million available to spend if he so wished. Walsall. Lying on the crest of a wave in the first division here. The best cot stadium. 9,600 is the small capacity. And of that, only 6,600 are seated. The training ground, though, 10 out of 20 is okay for a club the size of Walsall. Um, Ray Graydon is in charge and will have just under a million pounds in the bank account when he turns up. So that's 913,000 transfer funds of 875,000. The final three teams in this division we have Watford, former FA Cup winners, or FA Cup finalists, one of those. Um, we find them, I was going to mention the chairman, Elton John. And the manager, as we take over, is one Gianluca Vialli. 
Vicarage Road holds 23,126. But, crucially, the training ground and youth facilities are listed as excellent. 20 out of 20. So that could sway some into taking on the Watford Challenge. Four million pounds in the bank, 2.7 million as transfer funds. And that, give, that makes it a little bit more of a challenge, but could you go down the route of, because you've got those youth facilities signing young players for the future um, as your way of taking on this save. Wimbledon. So it won't be often I do these videos and I say this club no longer exists, but this is Wimbledon. Uh, 1988 FA Cup winners, the crazy gang obviously famously beat the Culture Club, uh, Liverpool, John Aldridge missing a penalty, and Laurie Sanchez nodding the winning goal and from a, a little Dennis Wise cross. This is obviously a few years down the line. They're playing at Selhurst Park. Obviously, if you know the history of Wimbledon, they were forced to leave Plough Lane, which was their spiritual home, um, and ground share with a number of different clubs around London um, for a lot of their time, actually. Uh, so at this stage, they're at Selhurst Park, which we know from seeing Palace earlier, 26,309. Training gown, though, listed as good, 15 out of 20. Terry Burton is manager. Got to look at that for a bank balance. Forty-six thousand pounds in the bank. Seventy thousand available to spend. So I won't often do this, but if I look on this page and we look at the wage bill per week, you'll see Wimbledon's wage bill is one hundred and thirty thousand pounds a week. They only have 46,000 in the bank. So that says to me, challenge. And a little bit of history as well, as it's a team that obviously in the future were to up sticks and relocate to Milton Keynes um, and become MK Dons. And then from that, a, a Phoenix club essentially began in the lower reaches of the English game, AFC Wimbledon. And they gradually, gradually, gradually made their way up the leagues and are now back playing league football, I believe, in the same division as MK Dons. And, crucially, are back at Plough Lane. Final club in the first division is Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, we know, obviously, they play at a lovely ground called Molyneux. 28,525 people can fit inside and funded by that chairman Jack Hayward and to an extent Jez Moxie uh, their training ground and youth facilities are listed as excellent Dave Jones is the man in charge and he will have 6.7 million pounds in his bank 6.25 million pounds available to spend so that brings us to the end of the old first division um, thank you for joining me if you've enjoyed this uh, please do use some of these teams as a potential save let me know how you're getting on do like subscribe share and comment on these videos um, it really would mean the world to me if you did um, and yeah stay tuned and we'll be back for more very soon thank you